Well, did you know that when the Queen is in the mood for dessert, her favourite sweet treat is a chocolate biscuit cake? I did not know that. Did you? Well, uh, well you're learning a lot today. And the I royal have... recipe proved so popular, Prince William even requested it at his wedding. I didn't know that either. Get out! Stop <laughs> that. Today, former Buckingham Palace butler and chef Richard Kerrigan is here to put a festive hazelnutty spin on this classic that they love oh so much over there at Buckingham Palace. Good to see you. Where do we Good start morning. with this Good morning. classic? So, yeah, I just thought I'd jazz up um, and slightly make a little bit more healthy the, uh, the classic um, chocolate biscuit cake. So what I'm going to do is very, very simple. Mm -hmm. First of all, it starts with um, the base. So instead of using um, biscuits and lots of butter, it's oats, cashews and pistachio nuts and mm -hmm. just blended that. So that's now mm -hmm. almost like a cheesecake base. Yeah. Okay. And then for the filling, I'm just going to heat up some coconut cream. Mm. and then just melt in some chocolate. So break up the chocolate, fairly small, yeah. and then that just stirs. And once it's actually boiling now, we can take that off the heat and just let the heat um, start to melt. Oh, okay. melting for you. So you don't want to, otherwise it will um, reset the chocolate, Exactly, it? Yeah, yeah, it starts to, it starts to go a bit of a, go a, bit of a strange, strange Ooh, texture. Oh, I've, I've done I've burnt some chocolate in my, in my time. time. <laughs> so even, even though this is, a little, this is more of a healthy version, you've still got to be a bit, yeah. bit careful on, um, you know, healthy food has got nuts and that sort of thing. Because people go, when they hear healthy or light or something, you think, oh, can I can have twice as much. Exactly. So you've got to be a little <laughs> no, bit careful. that's just it's you. Still, <laughs> just me. It's still calorie dense, so just watch those calories, especially over Christmas. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, where you can, just avoid all the processed foods. So yeah. And Once then something very Christmas, we're going to roast some hazelnuts. We're going to roast some hazelnuts. We've actually pre-roasted them. Chestnuts roasting. Exactly. It's all about Hazel. seasonal produce yes. here. Um, so what I have done is... Mm -hmm. Have I put them under here? I have put them under here. Yes. <laughs> so I've roasted some hazelnuts with um, a little bit of butter yes. and some honey. Yes. And then we're just going to basically chop that up and that's going to be our biscuit filling for the coconut. I'm so glad they're nuts because when I saw them I thought they were chickpeas and I thought I'm not eating those. <laughs> <laughs> so once these have chopped up, these have obviously set now. Mm. And, and I like the fact that you're saying that this is the Queen loves this. Yeah, well, it, well she loved um, she loved anything chocolatey. So when, mm. I, when I was working there, there was always something chocolatey to finish off the, uh, off the, off the meals. So, um, yeah, many rich chocolate cakes or some chocolate tarts and chocolate mousse. Mm. It's obviously mm. very easy as well when there's lots of guests there. Yeah. Mm. Um, so once that's chopped up, that's yeah. going to be folded into the chocolate cream. Yeah. Oh, that um. sounds nice. And you can go a bit rustic on the chopping as well. It doesn't have to be really yeah, exactly. fine. Or you mm. want to make it, you want to make it super super rustic. So we'll pop the uh, biscuits or the crumb into the chocolate cream. Yeah. And even though you're saying this is a cake, do we actually bake it or not? No, no, no. no. It doesn't okay. need to go in the oven at all. Right. Um, so what's going to set the the mousse is actually a little bit of gelatin. Yes. Um, if you didn't want to use gelatin, if you're a um, vegetarian or vegan, mm. you can actually use agar agar, which mm -hmm. is like a seaweed derivative, and it, it sets um, as opposed to agar. Agar, Agar. Oh, Agar, Agar. Agar, Agar. So good they named it twice. <laughs> uh, you recently ran this marathon in New York. I uh, did. This is a great yeah. start. Now, yeah. um, we, sorry, are you... Uh, no, so this is the gelatin. So I've just set this and um, put this in a little bit of water yeah. um, just to soften it. Um, and because this is already hot, I can yeah. now add that into our oh, coconut cream. And that's what's going to set it in the fridge. Oh, that's right. it. I don't think I've ever seen it done. Like, yeah. like that. So you can mix it in because it's hot already. If it was hot, if it was cold liquid, yeah. you'd then have to melt the gelatin leaves in a pan. Yeah. But because the, resi the residual heat will go do through. It so it's all about just making it easy. So now yeah, you yeah. see the, yeah. the shine that you get on that now. Yeah. Um, and then all we could do mm -hmm. is add some coconut oil, which is melted, mm -hmm. to our biscuit base. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to miss any of these steps. I'm, I'm sensing that all these steps are quite crucial quite to the crucial. success. Quite well, they crucial. have the Queen's stamp of approval. But, but so very, very easy. This, unroyally. Is, this is essentially like a cheesecake base now. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're using the fat from the coconut oil mm. um, instead of the butter. Yeah. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll actually spread that into our baking tin. Into a spring tin, yeah. yeah. And then we'll pour the mixture into the tin. And then it done, and then out, it comes out comes like this. Out and you like refrigerate this. for some time, I guess. Refrigerate only it needs about an hour because the um, the. This mousse is already see how it's starting it's to set. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then there is a little bit of salt in this actually, mm. so a salted chocolate mousse. So we just finish off with a little bit of sea Any salt. Any sort of like the, the the good gear, right? The, the sea salt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not, not, your ta not, not your Saxa not, table not, salt. No, not, not your Saxa. <laughs> um, and then finishing it off with some seasonal produce. So cherries at the moment are amazing, super yeah. super sweet. Mm. So all I've done is just um, add a little bit of lemon juice, uh, a little bit of honey. And we've just got just heated those up, reduce yeah. it down a little and bit. And so healthy, you can have four times more than you would any other. Cake. Exactly, but then when you slice it out, mm -hmm. and Larry, you're gonna make sure mm -hmm. I don't spike yeah. you here. You get this beautiful kind of biscuit. Oh yeah, oh, on the I side. love that. Oh, that looks and could you have a big dollop of something with it? Absolutely. Because mm, I think it, look, it looks like it needs a little something. I'm glad something. you asked. So maybe mm -hmm. a little bit of um, yogurt or yogurt, as you guys call it. Yeah. We'll get that right on there. And then you got to admit, yogurt sounds funny. Like it does, it, it, does, sounds, it does now because I've been here for so long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we'll just finish it off just because it's Christmas with a yeah. little bit of healthy chocolate. Healthy chocolate. Oh, yeah. that looks great, Richard. 
So good. And there we go. But it's super easy. Now, you recently ran uh, the marathon in New York. <laughs> I did. And we were super excited for you. We even offered you some words of encouragement. You did. It was a uh, great let's, surprise. Let's take a look at the, what we said for Richard. Yes. Hey, Richard. Hey, uh, Good luck in the big marathon. Like, what is it, 42K? Nothing. How hard can that be? It's nothing. It can't be harder <laughs> than cooking on the morning show. Hey, now, remember what we always... Uh, did we help get you across the line? You this did. I definitely yes. got across the line. The, the, um, the goal was to try and beat three hours. Yes. So to get 2.59, I would have been happy with. And I came across it 3.11 seconds. Oh, so, so close. I missed it by 12 oh, seconds. Oh, you got it. What a huge effort, though. But uh, Can we talk about this? Great. This is a great yeah, shot. Did you hold up traffic? Yeah, every, every traffic. I was like, look, guys, I've just thrown a marathon. You're going to stop there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't appreciate it. Lots of horns. But it's worth it for the shot, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's a risk. It's a, it's a winner. <laughs> and sorry, if I knew they were going to run that on TV, I would never have called you Dickie. <laughs> That was that was just I a little. Like, I that was more of a social now. media play. I did get a little nervous when I saw it come up. I thought, what exactly yeah, what did, did we say? say? Yeah, that's not meant for TV. Stuff. Oh, yeah, right. me across the line. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, it, uh, it's, 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 um, you're yeah, in? Don't, don't let it go flying off yeah, the plate. Yeah. It looks beautiful, uh, uh. and I love that this is the Queen's favourite dish. With a healthy twist. With a healthy twist. Lovely. Uh, you can find the full recipe for Yum. this and the yogurt over on our website. Thank you, Richard. Thank you very much.